This question or comment comes to us from Chris from New Jersey. And good observation. Uh, his comment was, so how do I create more speed? If it's just momentum, then everybody would hit at the same distance. You're right, if it was just momentum. But there's momentum, there's centripetal force, there's gravity, there's inertia, there's acceleration. So there's, there's some other forces involved. Now, if I just basically use momentum and I just drop my arms and hit it, there's a distance that I can hit it that everybody can hit it. All right, now, there is some, when you do that, some people have a lot more what they call fast twitch muscle fiber. What does that mean? That means they can load this wrist and load this and still be able to catch the club head up. So their, their muscles react a little quicker. So that's involved in creating speed. So there's, there's multiple parts of how much speed you can create. Momentum is one of them. So once we get the momentum going and you max that out, now as your body starts to rotate and also as your, as your arms are a little higher, that gives you a chance to create more momentum. Now can you hit it far with a short swing? There's good players that have done that. But you're seeing swings now are getting bigger and longer again. Why? Because if they get a little longer, that gives them a little more time to create a little bit more momentum, more momentum, more force, they can hit it further. So once you've maxed out what your arm swing can do, and you've got that going, now it becomes your leg strength because now as you come down into the ball and the momentum of the club's going forward, the more this left leg pushes my left hip back, not turn my hips, just pushes it back away from the forward momentum of the club, then whoo, that causes acceleration of my arms. And that pushback is what accelerates the club, straightens my arm and points the handle of the club back at me real quickly, as opposed to the handle being drug like this. So when you come down, once I'm here, the faster that handle gets back at me, the more club head speed I generate. That's why it's so important to work on this L to L, because if you, if you get here and you just straighten your arms and the club doesn't get here, so it doesn't pass your hands, and this doesn't get aimed back at you quickly, you can't create any speed. All right, so it's that lever system, and then it's this leg. So then we're starting to talk strength, flexibility, then there's a lot of things. So there's a lot to creating maximum speed. For most people though, if all you did was what your arms will allow from an arm swing and you let the club just, the momentum of the club go and your body work correctly and this offset the forward momentum of the club and it pushed back and away, just like that. Now. There's no strength, that's very little strength. I could do that with two fingers holding the club. That ball, that ball went 235 in the air. I've got my launch monitor here, my Rap Soto, so I, I see where every ball goes. So when you think about most people that you play golf with, how many of them carry their driver 235? Carry. Now that's gonna roll out probably on a hard fairway. That'd go to 260, 265. All right, so my question becomes, how far do you have to hit it? Does strength play into it? Eh, to some degree. Does timing and sequence play into it? See, timing and sequence plays more into how far you hit it than strength does. See, everybody's going crazy on this strength thing. But the sequencing of how you move and how that creates force is more important than how strong you are. I'm say that again. The sequencing and the timing of how you move relative to that club is more important in creating your maximum speed with control than strength ever will be. I mean, yeah, you get stronger, eh, you might hit it a little further. But here's what strength does for you. If you get stronger correctly, you'll be able to hit it the same distance you normally hit it or a little further with less effort and more control. It's not going to necessarily give you 20 more yards of distance because distance comes more from the physics and the levers than it does from how strong you are. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. That's why still at 60, 66 years old, I've still got 110 miles an hour club head speed with my driver. You know, I can get it up to 115. All right, so 
it, it's not, I'm not nearly as strong as I was years ago. Now at my age, I've lost a lot of fast twitch muscle fiber, which means my muscles don't react as quickly, so I'm going to lose some speed. And I keep trying to do things to stimulate that, mu that fast twitch as much as I can. Jump rope, anything that's fast moving. So back to the question. Momentum can create X amount. Then momentum and gravity and centripetal force and just the lever system again. Then you've got some fast twitch muscle fiber <coughs> excuse me, issues. And then how you utilize the momentum of the club and how you sequence your swing. How you sequence your swing plays into how the levers work and the amount of speed you can generate. Most people sequence incorrectly. So they put a lot of effort, but the sequence breaks down. The kinematic sequence breaks down. So more effort, less speed. That's the key is how that sequence works. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for regular updates and tips. Thanks for watching.